Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been using Microsoft Outlook, well, for about seven years now. Uh, I became addicted, well, actually longer than that, because I, I, I first started using it when they released Outlook 98 for free, and uh, that was a follow-up after they first unleashed Outlook 97, which was horrible. 98 was faster, a little better, and then upgraded to Outlook 2000. From there, I kind of held back from upgrading to either 2002 or 2003 because they made some really bad decisions uh, with those two versions of Outlook. And uh, recently upgraded to Outlook 2007, uh, they fixed a lot of the issues that they had introduced in uh, the, the interim versions between 2000 and 2007. And the reason why I use Outlook is because it's a personal information manager. It manages everything, uh, tasks, calendar, notes, um, you know, email. And it, and it really does, in my opinion, it does a good job. It's bitten me a few times, but I've found very few possible replacements out there. Now, I know that a lot of people are starting to move to the web in terms of personal information management, but there's still no comprehensive suite in one program, or at least the interoperability between various programs. Um, anyway, the reason why I, I bring this up is, number one, people ask me all the time, Chris, what email do you use? Well, I use Outlook. And I'll explain that a little further after I read this top five list, as submitted by Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that. Uh, she, she's got the top five reasons why she uses Outlook. And, uh, you know, as far as I can tell, these are pretty general reasons, uh, you know, why you might be attracted to any one email client over another. Number one, this is again in Lisa's words, I use Outlook because it's a lot faster to go directly to your email instead of going into your server's website or hosted email and having to log in and wait for it to load, all I have to do in Outlook is just double click the icon and boom. That is one advantage of using a desktop client over a web client. Not sure I see the advantage of Outlook over everything else in that capacity. Number two, it's very easy to set up. When I first got Outlook, I had no idea what to do. They have examples next to about every box to guide you through the steps to set it up. This was my first time using it and it took me about two minutes to get going. Well, fair enough. I don't know if there's an easy way to set up your email or if any one program has a better routine over another. Certainly the introduction of wizards has been helpful. Three, there's a nifty feature where you can set up an exchange account. That's where you can basically be connected on the same server with either your coworkers or your family. And you can see someone's schedule to see if they have a meeting that day, which is very useful, I must say. This is again what Lisa suggests. And I think that is where Outlook has it all over every single client on the planet. And again, I'll, I'll circle back to that after I'm finished reading Lisa's top five. Number four, one thing that she uses a lot is reminders. I'm always so busy that I normally forget when meetings or appointments are. All I have to do is set up a reminder and when it's time to go to the event, it'll make a noise and notify you about what you have to do. Fair enough. That's what a personal information manager does. That's a PIM, that's Outlook. Number five, in Outlook, they let you personalize just about anything you want, at least according to Lisa. I get a lot of emails every day. So what you can do is set up a reading pane so you don't have to open up every single email, a preview pane. Also, what I like to do is put the toolbar at the bottom of the page that tells you how many emails you have in your inbox so you'll be able to tell if you need to free up some space. And apparently, Lisa goes by the name Yo in the chat room. Fair enough, I appreciate that uh, top five list. Now getting back to you know why I use Outlook is a lot of, uh, the features that I would expect to have in an email client are inside of Outlook. Because Outlook's not just email, it's email, calendar, tasks, notes, etc. And then when you stretch that beyond just your space into your friend's space or your family space, then it becomes a lot more important. So to me, Outlook isn't just email. I certainly wouldn't recommend it as just an email client. Uh, I've recently gone to uh, Rackspace for hosted exchange, managed exchange, uh, so that I don't have to worry about it. And with exchange, I have not just the emails sitting in my desktop on Outlook that I can access from either Apple Mail, I can access from my iPhone, and all the messages are the same in every place because they're hosted on the server. And since I'm on an exchange server, then I can, if I set up someone else with an exchange account like Ponzi, I can see her calendar, 
she can see my calendar, we can share tasks, we can have discussion lists, and this is all within the Exchange environment. And it's portable in the capacity that uh, I can go and access the same inbox, so to speak, my same task, calendar, etc., from a web browser anywhere. The biggest challenge I have with that right now is that I'm on uh, still on an Exchange 2003 server, and so to use Outlook Web Access 2003, the only way it really works well is if you're using Internet Explorer. Uh, so I'm waiting for uh, Rackspace to update their Exchange servers to uh, Exchange 2007 Service Pack 1, uh, which will hopefully be happening in the next couple of months. Uh, and with that, they have better compatibility with Outlook Web Access uh, from Firefox or Safari or anything that isn't Internet Explorer. Uh, sorry, that's it's a rule that every time you say Internet Explorer, you have to do that for some reason. It's a law they passed in the state of Washington uh, just a couple weeks ago, as a matter of fact. I'm kidding. That's not a law. I was just doing that because it's, it's fun to do. And because we had like over 10,000 viewers on our Firefox 3 video that we did a couple weeks ago. So uh, that's you know the big reasons why I use Outlook. It's, it's the big reasons why Lisa appreciates Outlook. What about you? Are you uh, a user of Outlook? Outlook Express, maybe? And there are two different programs. And don't even tell me you're a Windows Live Mail user because, my God, you will have lost all credibility with me because that is one of the worst email programs ever to have been unleashed in recent years. Um, I know some of you use Thunderbird. Thunderbird is just email. It's not a calendar. It's not a task management app. Uh, I know that Bear and uh, our friend Ted Leung are working on Chandler, which is an open source PIM of sorts. Um, I don't know how... Development is coming along with that at this point. It may be the Outlook killer eventually. Um, there's a possibility that when I you know, switch away to the Mac, uh, they're going to have the Entourage 2007, or I think 2008, uh, that's going to be released at Macworld here in a couple of months. And I'm very much looking forward to that, especially seeing its Exchange interface. Uh, that's Entourage is the Outlook equivalent from Microsoft on Mac OS X. Uh, but you know, more than anything, if I could just exist on the web server you know, for all my email management, I'd be just as happy as I would probably on the desktop. I don't know. Anyway, just curious what you use. Uh, are you happy with Outlook or not happy with Outlook? And if you were an Outlook user, what are you using now and why? And I'm not talking just for email, but for everything else. Calendar, task, notes, sharing this stuff. Let me know what you're using. I'd be curious to know because i got to know if there's a better option out there for me or for my family or for my coworkers because, yes, I have coworkers. Not many of them, but I do work with them co wise ish anyway my email address is chris at perillo.com you got a top five email tips maybe top five something else tips whether it's related to software hardware internet technology or not technology at all let me know my email address again is chris at perillo.com leave a video follow up why do you think outlook sucks why do you think it's great why do you think something else is better or just embed this video if you're an outlook fan Woot, go uh, then you're also welcome to swing by our website where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you haven't figured it out by now, all the chatters chatting live right down there. You, you, you're figuring this out, right? You, you got it? You got it? You're in? Not, not so much over there. Well, actually, it is over there. But they're chatting here. and But they're chatting here. Here, 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 here. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.